So today we attempt to answer the age-old question, is there a lens too wide for its own good? The answer is no. The answer is no. Still, continue watching the video, just because I answered the question in the first eight seconds doesn't make it a bad video. There could be good things ahead. There won't be, but you might get lucky. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So this is officially the widest we've ever been here. We got the Voigtlander 12 mil, 25.6 on the Panasonic S1 with a flippy hack enabled. It's heavy. It makes it even heavier. That sucks. It's all metal. How's the walking downstairs stabilization test going? We got IBIS. It should be working. Is it stable? Is I have a feeling that because it's so wide, listen to this theory. Panasonic can only really stabilize good 30 millimeter equivalent and above longer. Once you go wide, you start seeing the warpy corners. But I bet you there's like this black hole enigma phenomenon where you go even wider and then it stops. And we're there now. Maybe. There better not be warpy shit anywhere. I don't get it. It looked stable. I tested it last night just in the kitchen. I was walking around with it and then I looked at the footage. I was like, oh, yeah. I didn't see any warpy stuff, and then as soon as I start walking outside like a demon... Oh, it's unusable. Oh, it's unusable. But we do have the widest anybody's ever seen. <laughs> I don't get it. What the hell happened? It was stable. I, I promise. I was just walking and it was good. That's not a microphone. That's out of shot. I don't know how close it can focus. It's very hard to see with the reflections and the sunlight. Oh, there. That's so much easier. Wow, all the reflections are gone. I'm a moron. I see peaking. Am I in focus here? Because that would be so comfy to hold it right here. It's still wide, and I don't think it's fisheye either. A little, tiny bit. A little fish. Let some fish in your mouth. Now, I looked in the menu prior to this, and I saw an image stabilized boost mode. Guess what's being turned on right now? Let's just pay attention. Does boost help? All right, boost mode is on. Is it a noticeable difference? Usually with all the different modes on a Panasonic, nothing changes except a crop in. Did it crop in? Would it even matter? I dare you to crop in on this. Well, my hat's really going out there. It's a long hat. It's a new style. We're bringing it back. As our long arm technology. Ah, oh, I can grab any fruit I want on any tree. Is this the most glorious thing? I would make this my vlogging camera if it's... I don't even think I need this flip up screen hack. If I'm in focus, what's to see? There's no tele light. Is that an option on this camera? I like how the Fuji has the light, so at least you know we're, you're recording. I'm also going to try digital stabilization on top of the boost mode. Now. Okay, now we're digital and boost and IBIS. Is it glory? The trees reveal all. That's where the problems lie. In the trees. Little shakes. Is this? Oh, I wish I knew which the best mode was now, and then I'd continue the rest of the show in the optimal mode, but I'm a moron. That's fine. I'm by a highway. There's an entire world out there. It's a manual focus, but it's at the minimum now. What if we throw it all the way to the back? Did I go out of focus at all? I still see green peaking. Why are you peeking at me? Now we're back. I have a feeling the manual focus thing is broken. How are we doing in low light? 5.6 is pretty low. Even my micro four thirds. I don't even have a lens that stops down that low. Now we're in pure darkness under a bridge. 
where homeless people make babies. Hmm. There's definitely babies in there. ISO what? What are we at? 400? Shutter speed 40. Oh, that's an interesting decision. I stand by you. Does that mean we have friendly motion blur for once in our life? It's still at 40? So cinematic. We're in 4K 10-bit HLG, which is my least favorite profile of all times, and it's the only profile you're allowed to be in. Although, maybe somebody had a fix for it, but I don't, I don't get it. You can't change any of the settings in HLG, and even that paid firmware update that you get vlog in 10-bit 422, we're only 420 here, that's pathetic. Even then, you can't change any of the sharpness. I don't understand it. That's so weird, because the GH5, there's a runner. Oh, he's running. Oh, that was shaky. Stable it, my friend. Is it more stable with two hands? We're on a glide cam. I'm looking for a tree branch so I can work out. You know what I mean? Whereas, on a side note, I might have just found the greatest vlogging tripod. I am digging this thing. Oh, God. <laughs> it's the Nebula from Anchor. It's the longest tripod. It's even longer than the one I've been using, the Siriu. It's fantastic. It's not the most comfortable leg thing. The legs are pretty thin. It's not terrible though. And you can get way out there. Oh. Ah. Oh, it's so muddy here. I found a tree. back on just the boost without the extra digital crop. I have a feeling that's going to be the best mode, so Panasonic S1. We're going to do some tests with the autofocus. I know you can speed it up, a lot of you babies. Oh, that Panasonic autofocus. It's not good enough. We need Sony. It's definitely slow to get you. Don't plan on moving around and showing off your autofocus system, but for at home, just sitting in a chair, I like it like that, because then it won't hunt, and it doesn't. It gets you, so I like that. We also got that Voigtlander 35mm Tony 1.4 to test. It's manual focus as well. I don't know how we're gonna do that one. I'm gonna have to dust off the external monitor, extend it right to my face, and then focus with my feet or something. We'll figure it out. We haven't tested the corner sharpness. Where is it? Am I at the corner yet? I can't tell. I gotta be honest with you. I think full frame is real. There's a magic to it. Even the Tony 2.8. There's a 3D separation that I've never got on the Micro Four Loser system. Even at 0.95. It just, it never gives that. Oh boy. Oh, my whole show is a sham. You don't need full frame. Yes, you do. Sell your house. Although, I'll tell you, something that's exciting, those Viltrox lenses for the Fuji system, they're coming out with a 13 mil. Tony, why do I have to say Tony every time? I'm so dead to him, it's not even funny. Is that a squirrel? Oh my god, a red bird. Red-shouldered blackbird. Wrong lens for this situation. That's the opposite of lens. But he's there. Will you see? Oh god. I feel like my exposure compensation went wrong real fast. But can you imagine? 13 mil, it's about 19.5 millimeters. 
with a 1.4, which is F2 equivalent, I think I'd be totally happy with full frame F2 primes or 1.8, maybe. I'm needy. But those sound glorious. And also the 23 mil for the studio. So we got your 35 mil equivalent and then a 20 mil for vlogging. If they autofocus well, they might. They're probably better than the Fuji lenses. Those can't autofocus. I know that Fringer adapter with the Canon glass seems to focus well, so why wouldn't a little Viltrox lens focus just as good, if not better? And they're cheap. I don't know how light they're going to be. That 13 mil, 1.4, there's no way it's light. But... What? I'm used to this now. S1, that thing's going to feel like a kitten. I ran full bore into a stump. There's no way my big toe isn't bleeding right now. Oh, it feels terrible. And then the tree branch broke. I just wanted to work out. I just wanted to be healthy. So what do you think of those Viltrox lenses? Have you seen them in video autofocusing? I saw one review. I think it was Matthias Ber Berglund. Definitely. But he didn't test the video. I thought that guy was a video guy. What the hell? He just tested photos. Stacy, I want you to kneel down in front of that pie, pour the can of chicken noodle soup on it. I'm gonna freeze it in action. You have to open the can first. It's not gonna come out. Just a shot of you opening a can. I, I was impatient on that one. Let's go home. Was this the most glorious lens you've ever seen? It's hard to rule with thirds. I wouldn't even know where to start. That gets awkward on the wrist and the elbow joint. It's fun times. Let me know your thoughts down below and what you're looking forward to. What is there on the horizon? I mean, we know we got the Canon R5 coming at some point. Sony just, what the hell are they doing? I guess we're waiting on Pentax. I would vlog with a K1, try it out. They have stabilization. Angular screen, it's heavy, but I'm used to that. So I'm rambling now. The content ended a long time ago. My foot's bleeding for sure. I'm gonna leave. Thanks for buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Thanks for the generous donation, my friend. This is such a fun lens. I shook, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna leave, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.